this is the only event that you can get that title. She was a grand champion going into it and a confirmation champion, and now she has the title of national grand champion. It's been a long time coming. It's other people seeing what you strove to try to, to make in your dog, and they recognize the greatness that you recognize. You know, and you train all year, and your dog, it comes together, it clicks. You, you don't make mistakes, and your dog doesn't make mistakes. I started with Tree and Walkers in 92, and in 95, I bought my first plot dog, which is this breed, and I, I have kept that same line of dogs. I bought my second dog about a year later, and I've had the same line of dogs from the get-go. This dog actually is a grand pup of the dog I started my kennel with in 1997. I mean, I had a dog prior to that, but the one that I really based my kennel on, this dog is as closely bred to that first female as any of them. It's been 20 plus years in the making <laughs> today, this dog, particular dog has. I always wanted to show dogs. My grandfather, when I was about seventh grade, took me to a, a local level event that had a training contest, you know, and field trial and all that, and it, it was pretty interesting. I never was introduced to it again until I met my ex-husband. I met him and he was into the, he was a coon hunter from childhood, and he showed dogs, and it was a sport that I always wanted to be in. It just so happens it ended up with coon hounds instead of any of the other breed of dogs. And, and I started at the local level with my tree and walkers and kind of worked my way up, and I bought my first plot in uh, 95, and here I am in, in 2020 with the same line of dogs, and, and uh, I've stayed with the plot dogs. I really like them. That I like the difference in their breed. The plot dog, for instance, it's the only one that doesn't go back to the English Foxhound. All your other breed of dogs go back to it. Each dog has their breed standard, and, and they all they all have different uh, specs on on the dog. And, and like some of them are bigger boned or bigger made. The plot hound, like the muzzle is not supposed to be square, you know, and it's. They have a little shorter ear, they can, a lot of times you'll see them a little smaller than the other breed of dogs. And this dog was, was made in America. <laughs> it was, the, the original pack of dogs came from Germany and uh, Von Plot, he, he just kept breeding within his own family and their own dogs and, and then he went with the Ferguson and they bred their pack of dogs and, and that is what developed the Plot Hound. And the UKC recognized them in 1946. You know, all the coon hounds are, are versatile and you can hunt them on about whatever game you want, but these dogs were more used in the beginning for bigger game. Back in the, you know, early days, your family dog was your guard dog. It was, it was a dog you took out in the woods and, and, and got your dinner with, you know, or paid your way with hides or whatever the, the, the case may be. And uh, they're a little bit more loyal to their families. I mean, they're, they have that one family. I, I can raise a dog to six months a year and, and then sell it to you and not see it for three years and that dog will know me. They don't, they don't forget you. I mean, they, and they're very loyal to that family. While they like other people, they're still loyal to that one family. I mean, and it doesn't matter whose hands they go in. Most of the time, they don't forget them. Autumn Oaks is a place where everybody comes to gather and, and catch up with old friends and wheel and deal or whatever, you know, you trades in the side and hunt or whatever. And it, it, it's kind of starting to round out the season. And, you know, the, the season's changing and everything. And it's, it's the big show to come to. I mean, you work all year long to get your dogs ready for this event. And uh, as far as the dogs go, you, this is the only place you can get that title. It's, it's very prestigious to, to, to even get considered in your breed. I mean, it's, it's very, it's an accomplishment. It's a good long weekend, you know, and enjoy the holiday and the fellowship and, and, and the win. You know, you, you come to win. I, if you're in it, you're here to win. If I can win my breed, that's, that's what I'm really striving for. And anything after that is like the gravy on the biscuit. <laughs>